Hi guys, I just got done making this low carb pho. I made it with Wander Noodle, so it's gluten free, um, low calorie. I got it from Thrive Market. And stay tuned if you guys want to see how I make it. So we got two bags of shrimp. We got a large one and a medium one. I got some beef ball and I got one pork meatball. I also got some beef tripe some pho bag um, the golden boy brand that's gonna be for my family I also picked up some beef soup bone and I also went to Walmart and got some steak we're gonna slice that up really thin And for our herb and other stuff. I got this lemongrass at the Asian store. You can also pick it up at Walmart. But I got most of my ingredients from the Asian store. I got some ginger. Slice that up. About four piece. Any size you want. And I got some galanga. Slice that up about four or five piece. Bay leaf. I got about six, seven on the, um, the bay leaf. We're going to put the whole thing in the pot. Just dump it in the pot. I got a big giant faux pot <laughs> and I got a tablespoon of salt we're gonna pour the whole thing just a tablespoon so I already washed and cleaned my beef bone so we're gonna let this pot simmer for about two to three hours and go ahead and put all your beef bone in there So let's take your steak and we're gonna slice it up really thin we want it really thin as thin as you could get it to to get so this is how you want it to be as thin as you can so that's how I got my steak to be that thin so after you're done you could feed a whole family with this because look how much I got a big bowl of it so after you're done slicing up really thin, you're going to put it in the fridge, cover it with saran wrap. And so I already washed and cleaned my beef tripe. So this is how it looks like. I'm just going to cut it down in half. And then I'm going to cut another half. And then I'm just going to slice it. Um, not too thin, but you know, whatever size you want. So after you're finished with your tripe, you're going to also cover it with saran wrap and you're going to keep that in the fridge until you're ready to assemble. And there's our steak. We're going to cover that at the same time. Don't forget to add a whole onion in your pho pot. Here's some stuff I grabbed from the Asian store. This is like a pho pouch thing that you just throw into the pho pot. I I already have two bags in there it comes with four bags so and then I also got these cubes it's like pho cubes and there's four little cubes that come in that look little, little package so I will put the whole four in there also because I love the flavor and the aroma and these are the the base these are a must-have instant beef broth I will put two package in my big pot and oh my gosh the smell the aroma it smells so good you guys need to get this and the meatball we're gonna just half the meatballs just half it yep just like that half it after you half your meatball you can take the whole thing dump it in your pho pot that's been boiling for like two three hours we just lost one meatball great and then you see that pho pouch right there? Yep, we'll take that out later. Hi guys! Say hi to... Oh, look at how cute my grandson is. Oh my goodness. I think he's almost six months. So we are um, getting ready to eat pho. I'm making um, low carb pho because I am making it with the miracle noodles so here is all the cut up vegetables and we got 
the bean sprout. We got some basil. We got some jalapenos. Some cilantro. Green onion. Lime. And I also got these Miracle Noodle fettuccine. Um, it's zero calories. I got two packages. I got um, another one from Thrive Market. It's gluten free. Steak just came out. Beef trite. Shrimp. And here is our pho pot three hours later. So I just opened this Wander Noodle and it looks so comparison to the pho noodle. And all I did was rinse it out with hot water. I rinsed it out once and that's all you do. So let's assemble our pho. I like shrimp, so let's put shrimp. Lots of shrimp and beef tripe. I love beef tripe, so let's put a lot of those. So let's layer the steak. I like steak, so let's put a lot of those too. A lot of those, I love steak. So after you add your pho broth in there, I'm just gonna stir it up. I don't soak my meat, cause I like it medium well, medium rare. So I let the pho broth do its work, and that's how I like my pho. So we're gonna go ahead and add all the vegetables and the um, bean sprout. I like bean sprout, I like jalapenos, I love a lot of basil, I have limes. And then now we're gonna add the seasoning. I love my pho to be very spicy, so we got some sriracha sauce, I love a lot of spice. And then I got some um, pho paste, you get all this at the Asian store. So I will put like a half, half tablespoon of pho paste. Poison sauce. Sambal sauce. I do like one tablespoon. Super hot roasted chili oil. Here's two must have fried garlic and fried onion. It's a must have for your pho. Here it is, guys, the end result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. And enjoy! I hope you guys like it and please try the recipe. Have a great day.